Hello everyone, and welcome back, finally, to Niche. And yes, this is going to be a brand new Niche adventure and challenge coming to you after a couple months break, the longest break I have had from Niche and ever since it actually came out in early access and that is because i just needed a little bit of tlc time to myself to regroup to regather and to prepare for some of the future updates that are actually coming to niche early next year which sounds like it's really far away but if you guys have been checking out the stray fawn forms you know there's a lot of really cool features that they are going to be adding but enough about that for later you guys probably want to know more about the story that is about to unravel and before we begin, and I take you on a grand adventure with these two very special nichelings, I'm going to give you guys the lowdown on the guidelines for the rules that they are going to be following, as this tribe, our very special cookie tribe, seeks to bring back a long-lost goddess of our nichelings, who is still a favorite of so many of you guys to this day, and follows some very unique rules for how this tribe will grow. Rules that could spell disaster early on, but might make it really fun as they set out to find Cookie Island. So let's take just a minute. I'm going to go through the rules. Once I read them off to you guys, I will never mention them again other than in passing. So in future episodes, we are going to dive right back into the action with no explanation of the rules. Don't panic because in the video description, I will always have a link to a Google document that will summarize the rules and even have useful links to the episodes. It will have useful links to other playlists and even to our wiki, where if you are very organizational minded, it would mean so much if you could help us to organize the ever evolving family trees as the episodes come out for our niche adventures. So let's do this really quickly and then come back and I will introduce you to this very special set of siblings. So welcome to the Cookie Tree Tribe and the Cookie Tree Tribe rules. These are going to be pretty simple. Basically, this tribe believes themselves to be the children and the followers of Mies, the Cookie Tree Goddess, who planted the first acorn seeds to provide the delicious acorn treats to the nichelings of the world. So this tribe believes that they will starve without eating those nuts, even if that's not true. They believe that you will be unhealthy if you do not have nuts to eat and as a result they will not nest and they will not have children on islands that do not have any nuts available. They really believe nuts are a part of a balanced nicheling diet and they believe the best place to put nests is under a tree. So that is very important to them. And Mies is actually, for those of you guys who don't know, a very, very, very old nicheling that we had almost exactly a year ago, I believe, who was our cookie tree nicheling. She was one of the ones who we celebrated the arrival of these trees when the trees were first added into the game. Uh, and she used to be an orphan nicheling who was wandering around and we took her in even though she had one deformed paw and was not able to really do much, she could gather nuts. And so she would gather the nuts under the tree. She proved to be one of the kindest nichelings we had in that tribe. And she turned out to be the mother of so many wonderful nichelings who went on to carry the cookie tribe ways across multiple islands. And on that theory of having kind of the mother of the tree, the mother of the tribe, we will also be having a matriarch or patriarch of the tree for this tribe. And what that means is there will always be a main leader after we have our first two starter nichelings. And that main leader will be either the matriarch or the patriarch for the entire tribe. And that is going to be the main family line. When a matriarch or patriarch becomes the leader of the tribe, they will have their children be the main family line. And any siblings they have or any other relatives who are not immediately their mates and their children, we will release, we will banish from the tribe but they won't be banished, like we're not doing it in a mean way. That's just going to be a way to control how many nichelings we have under our control at once because it will allow the story to go forward faster. 
So the matriarch, their mates, and their children will always be the main characters, but we may have several wandering nichelings who are the cousins, the aunts, the uncles, the other nichelings who have wandered into our tribe and we released. Um, they will be still wandering the island, but they won't be part of the main family line. If we end up choosing some of those cousins, aunts, uncles, if we end up choosing some of the wandering nichelings as mates because they have spots, or we just want them into the tribe because they're really good for having resource collecting, we can invite them back in. But the main nichelings will always be the nichelings who are descended and the mates of the matriarch or patriarch. And that's to control the family size and the population of the tribe, basically. What will also control the family size and population of the tribe is that the Cookie Tree tribe members will only take spotted mates. They don't see other patterns of nichelings as part of their people, and they don't understand that they could have children with them. It's just an impossible idea to this line of nichelings. They may end up having children through rogues, and that would be a shocking surprise to them. And that would be something completely just they can't wrap their head around it they have no idea how that happened it would just be befuddling and confusing all around but if we're down to two nichelings and they don't have spots they will not mate with each other because one of them needs to have spots at least in order to be uh, a mate so that's going to really control who we pick as mates who we end up mating with no matter how good their traits are when we have got uh, our wanderers coming in and there's also the belief that spotted children, once we start having children with our nichelings, are lucky. So the children who are born with spots, no matter what color, no matter how many, no matter how big those spots, but they have to have spots, the children born with spots are part of the cookie line. They are from the best cookie lineage in the, the cookie tree. So they'll be given lucky cookie names and they'll be the ones expected to have children. If we have children who are not spotted, if they have stripes or no pattern instead, then the nichelings will believe that those are wonderful, beloved family members. But it would be an impossible idea in their minds that those family members could have children. So they will never inherit the title of matriarch or patriarch, and they will never have children when we control them. So that may really dictate what kind of genes we end up with. We might lose some really good ones. We might gain some really good ones because of this belief amongst the cookie tree tribe that you can only have children with spotted nichelings. And it's not a mean thing. It's just the thing that they believe to be true and will underscore our challenge. So the challenge is pretty simple this time. Having a matriarch or a patriarch, only being able to mate with spotted mates, having the nest only be put down on trees, that are on islands that have trees, believing that nuts are a balanced part of the diet. All of those things are pretty simple when we have almost over a thousand episodes of Nicheling uh, adventures and we have done so many challenges. So the last part of this challenge is going to be settling on the mythical cookie island. We need to find a large island full of trees. We need to make it completely safe and like clear it all the way out and settle down on it. So we're going to keep moving from island to island until we find one that we think has as many trees as you can possibly get that have nuts, not coconuts, but actual nuts. So that's what we're looking for. And then we are going to try to fill that island with the people of the cookie goddess. So we are going to wait out any nicheling that we have along for resource collecting who has no pattern. And we are going to wait until we have all spotted nichelings. So once we create Cookie Island, an island that is huge, that has tons of nut bearing trees, that is completely safe and filled with only spotted nichelings, no matter how large or small or colorful those spots, then we are going to try to rebirth Mies, the cookie goddess, to finish the challenge. And we will be trying to recreate a nicheling that basically looks just like Mies she used to. Should be pretty simple. She had red ram horns. I think she even had derp snout and she had a deformed paw, but she was able to collect nuts. She had one cracker, like one cracking nut hand, one little gathering hand, and she was the sweetest thing in the world. So it would be very nice to create a cookie island and fill it with her people and give her a new home. 
So all that together will be our rules. The rules will be linked in a Google document, linked in the video description below, along with a link to a wiki, along with a link to some of our older adventures so you can refresh yourself on some of our stuff. I will not be repeating the rules in future episodes. It will always just be available in this episode and in the video description. So let's get back to our adventure. All right, that wasn't so bad, right? Let's get to this then. Okay, so now you guys know the rules. You know that we are actually going to be needing to search out spotted nichelings to have as mates. And you guys also know that uh, these nichelings are all about those glorious trees. If there is not one of these trees present, they will not make nests because they believe that it is impossible for a healthy baby nicheling to grow up if there are not at least some nuts in the diet. So we need to have a nest under a tree where we can gather nuts from it uh, if we want to be able to have any babies. And we need to have spotted mates because our nichelings are going to believe that it's just impossible to have mates with other, other nichelings who are not spotted. They are of the cookie tribe after all. Which may make you guys wonder, Siri, what about these two then? Because these two nichelings don't have any spots. And yes, that is actually the first part of this challenge that might actually make these two disappear and we'll have to start the cookie challenge over again. But we have a Messy here, given the name Messy because she is a little bit messy and also as a sort of variation on the wonderful Messy, who is the cookie goddess that we are hopefully going to have reborn into the tribe once we reach Cookie Island at the end of our challenge, which I'm really looking forward to if we can make it that far. And we have her brother. Yes, her brother, Whisk. So this is going to be our first challenge. I am going to say that Messy and Whisk here are siblings. Not only are they siblings, but they also cannot see each other as potential mates because neither of them has spots. What are you going to do with a non-spotted nicheling as a mate? That is just impossible. That can't happen. Of course, if we bump into a rogue, that would almost be good for this challenge because then we will be able to have children even if we haven't unlocked spots yet. And I don't think, yeah, spots and dots is something that you can start with, but we, like, we didn't get lucky enough with these two when we generated them. So neither of them have spots. We have the mutation for dots, which I'm going to immediately give both of our nichelings. I think that basically the mutation for dots should always be available in this tribe or else we won't be able to have kids. Kind of a big deal. Uh, but we're going to send these two searching out for mates. So we have a male and a female. No matter what kind of spotted mate we find, uh, we'll be able to have more babies so that'll be good but they do not see each other as mates they are companions setting out to live the cookie life they are not spotted so normally once our challenge gets going you guys know normally that means they wouldn't be able to have kids we'd say that the tribe just doesn't see them as child bearers they would see them as wonderful members and con like people who can contribute to the tribe but they just don't believe that a real cookie tribe lineage would be a member who does not have spots like spot non-spotted members of the tribe just don't have children it's not aggressive it's not mean it's just their culture the only exception will be these two that we begin with and we'll have to just wonder why that is later for now let's get moving uh i cannot unfortunately destroy this berry bush i was really hoping i could but we couldn't dig up some food there is a tree on this island so i'm kind of wondering if it would be worth it to go and see if we can make a nest under there but there's no point in making a nest until we have a mate so who has the higher collecting skill Let's see, let's see. Oh, and actually, what are your traits? Oh, we have antenna hiding back there. A and B immunity, high fertility, C and D immunity, high fertility. He does have blind eye recessive. We might want to breed that out early on. Does she have anything negative? She has velvet paw, which isn't really going to help us, but it's not particularly negative, and neither of them have hemophilia, so we are good there. Thank goodness. Uh, do either of you guys have albinism or melanism? Because actually, albinism and melanism might be very bad for this tribe, too, because I don't think you can be albino and born with spots, so that's not good. But all right, Messi is leading the way. She wants to go ahead and get a move on. We'll gather up a little bit of food. 
Uh, if we run into a tree trunk, we might slow down because we could try to call for a mate, but I think we need to make our way to a bigger island and cross our fingers <laughs> that we can find a mate or else we're going to have to start with a new set of nichelings. And yes, we will just keep going until finally a lucky set of siblings will find a spotted mate and be able to have babies of their own. This is a challenge after all. All right, so let's keep moving. Yeah, I think Messi really wants to explore and just like get out of here. Uh, there's a rock, there's a berry bush. Is there any food to gather here? No. So let's just head out of here. I think Messi is just ready. We're gonna jump island. Yep, we're just gonna go ahead and travel. And maybe to a bigger land, we'll be able to find a tree trunk and we will be able to call out for a mate, which is very important at this point because there's trees here, so we could put nests on this island, and there might be tree trunks hiding in the island, so we need to go and see. But this could be, like, Messi is leading the way. I think she really wants to have some children, and Whisk, at least, is gathering up some food, and Messi can gather up a little bit of food, too. And let's start searching for tree trunks. So we're looking for tree trunks or rogues. We need to find a spotted nicheling a wandering spotted nicheling as soon as possible. And I think that Messi is just determined. Like she wants to make this happen pretty much immediately. We'll let her brother kind of clear the way a little bit. There we go. Whisk found a rock. They're still searching. We might search a little bit more for food. I should probably clear some of the spots for food. Whisk found a little bit of food right here, a little bit of food right here. I think he's just a very loyal brother. Oh, we've almost made our way to a tree. Yeah, that's really good. We might be able to like clear out some of the spots under the tree. And Whisk is also along. Oh, there's even a nest here. <gasps> we have found a special spot. All right, let's just take a deep breath. Messi only has 14 days remaining in her life. So that's very nerve wracking because we need to be able to have a baby before then. But I think that Messi and Whisk would see this spot as a very special one. They have wandered just like, like an excited puppy darting through the grasses. Messi has dove into the adventure of this new land. I think Whisk would have wanted to take things a little slower, maybe review the resources they had available, but it was right to trust his sister because they have approached this beautiful tree, which as the followers of the Cookie Tribe, they believe that all of these trees were given to them by the cookie goddess Messi, who put them into the ground by planting the first acorn so that all nichelings would have these trees, these vital trees to be able to eat from. And here we are, finally able to eat some of those nuts. So there's even a nest here. So a permanent nest under a tree, this would definitely be something they would both consider to be a very good sign. Very, very important. All right, and meanwhile, there's a rock in my way. So we've got trees, rocks, and even a stag mole. Look at that. So there's lots of food right here. This is a great spot. Now we just need to find a mate and hopefully have a child here. All right, can we take out that? No, we can't take out the stag mole. Our brother might be able to, wow, look at this abundance. I think Whisk would be very happy with all this. There's plenty of abundance here. I think he would be quite content in thinking that this is an excellent location to make into their home. But I think Messi is already feeling the pressure, but where, oh, another, another nest? That's a good sign. But where is the love of her life? Where is the mate that will let her to carry on the tribe, the, the spotted nicheling of her dream? So she is searching out that dream nicheling right now. But I think Whisk is very happy. This will be a good spot. I think he feels it in his bones. The way that an adventurer would feel they approach a spot that is, is going to be home. I kind of get the same feeling that maybe a pioneer would have going up over a hill and looking out over a spot that could become from wilderness a place that you can raise your children. And that is what Whisk feels about this spot. And meanwhile, Messi is still dashing about on the dream of true love. 
Oh, I'm really worried though. We didn't get lucky enough to start with spots, so I really like these two siblings already. But without spots, we won't be able to have any children. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go ahead and let Whisk start clearing more things away. He's going to come up. I can hardly see the tree. It's so dark when it rains. He's going to start clearing all of this out, I think. And then Messy is going to continue her search. We're even going to go across the river. She has found another wonderful nest spot. And we're going to see if we can find a tree trunk to call out on. All right. Whisk has managed to find a great location. He's got lots of nuts coming down. Messy has found another nest. She's even found some berries. She's not very hungry right now because her brother has doing, done a great job of gathering plenty of food for them. Oh my goodness, look at all these stag moles. This is truly a land of plenty, but will we find her mate? I'm so nervous because <laughs> if we don't, we're just gonna have to go ahead and leave. We're gonna or we're gonna we're gonna lose these two. They'll never have any children. There we go. And she's just gonna continue to run. There's a bundle. If they don't have any children, if we lose this challenge three times, I'll alter the rules. But if we lose this challenge three times without having a single oh, is there not gonna be a single tree trunk here? Truly? Oh man, is this connected? <gasps> this is connected right here. So it really is like this tree is the center of where the wellspring of the island is coming from. Oh, I hope we can do a call. I really wish we could do a call. All right, we're gonna go ahead and tend to its roots, gather more nuts. We don't need too many more, so Whisk might help us start searching soon. I'll even take a rogue at this point, just to make sure that we don't lose such a beautiful land. There's bundles crawling under our feet. Can we not find? We'll start at a different island if we fail this time. But if we can't find a tree trunk, we might be in trouble. All right, come on. Come on, you two. Come on, Messy. Another nest. This is such a perfect land, but it's empty. And Whisk and Messy can't have children together because they're not spotted. Come on, a rogue, a wanderer, anything would be great. There's another bundle hill. All right, Whisk, you're gonna need to help out just a little bit. Maybe he'll get lucky. Oh, you guys, I think we're gonna lose our very first ones <laughs> with such a great challenge. Come on. Tree trunks, think tree trunks, you two. All right, let's see. Can we find a tree trunk over here? This is gonna be the hardest part of getting this done. I can't believe there's not a single, not a single other nicheling. Not a wanderer. Sometimes I find tons of wanderers by now. There's not a single tree trunk. Oh no, Whisk, Messy. It's the perfect home. It's the perfect home and yet, can we run to another island? I should have gone to the harder island. It wouldn't have been as safe, but it would have let us have the opportunity. There's only four days left. Oh no! Unless we magically find a female, like in these final moments, who's younger and can carry on Whisk's child. Ah! Oh, as the cookie crumbles, what a start to this. Phooey, all right. Messy, Whisk, I love both of you. Can I get either of you over to one of the other islands in time? I don't think I can. All right, guys, as the cookie crumbles, we have learned that this was too difficult a start, too hard to begin with the simple, simple challenge of only being able to have spotted mates or the children of rogues. I am quite sad because Messy is such a lovely nicheling and we have already lost her and we have already lost her brother. So just like that, it's, it's over. Just like that Messi's dream of finding the perfect spotted mate and Whisk's dream of being able to have his children inherit a safe land comes to an end. It is underbaked. 
<laughs> the puns for the cookie tribe will be endless. If I'm gonna change anything, I think it will actually be perhaps our starting island this time. So we will have a new set of siblings and we will see if we're lucky enough that they actually generate with spots because then we could have them have children of their own. And I may start on a new island. I may just take a gamble and start on an entirely new type of island and see how they do from there. It was too peaceful. Maybe we need to go to somebody somewhere a little more dramatic to begin our cookie tribe. And maybe that's the key to being able to win this challenge is they start in a very violent land and they build their way up to searching out the cookie island, the land of safety, the land of nut trees, the land of all spotted nichelings. So we might start in a really, really hard spot. I started on an easy island this time. We'll start on a medium island and then we'll start on a hard island if we still didn't manage it and we'll see if our luck changes. So it's the end. <laughs> oh dear, it's the end. We could, I'm just gonna restart with the same bloodline and see if anything happens. If we end up with spots, we'll keep them. If we don't, we'll start on a medium island. And we start with baby, we start with Jota? Oh my gosh, we started with babies. And we started with a nicheling, a nicheling named Tata and Lalara. Oh my gosh, we literally started with our two most famous of our nicheling gods, Tata and Lala slash Yuki, the female version, and no tree. All right, the voting is gonna happen. You guys saw what happened. We literally started randomized with two rare nichelings, Tata and Lala, literally two of our nicheling gods. Is this a sign? I'm gonna live a little poll. Is this a sign that we should just let these two breed and see if they have a spotted child? They'd have to leave and go to a new island because there's no trees here. But should we allow, is this a sign that our nicheling gods like the cookie challenge and they want us just to be able to get started? And they're like, look, Sarah, you're not going to be able to find a spotted nicheling in time. We're going to give you a, a start to it. Is that, is that how it's going i think that may be how it's going uh this is kind of amazing i didn't know having just spotted mates would be so difficult and come on tata and lala we literally start with those two <laughs> i'm gonna take it as a sign but i'm gonna leave a poll so you guys can let me know what you guys think the challenge of this challenge is to only have spotted mates but i feel like i was outvoted by the nicheling gods and the randomization of it all this time however after this we would only be able to have spotted mates and we would be seeking out a large and peaceful land and i'm even thinking we might have fun we might have some adventurous nichelings who would start unlocking things uh, we might make an ideal, like if you had an ideal cookie nicheling, what traits would you pick? I kind of think big ears would be fun to have. Uh, and maybe, maybe like digging paw, hmm. Maybe peacock tail would be fun to have, like on our, on our nichelings. Because as long as they have spots, that's all that matters for being a part of the cookie tribe. Um... But we do have the goal of getting to a big, gigantic, beautiful island, and I wonder if we should go on a journey until then. Huh. We're going to keep the challenge really easy, but we might give them a little bit of an adventurous personality. And I do think that it might be kind of fun to try to get to Cookie Island, to only have spotted mates, and to perhaps give ourselves the other challenge of just exploring. Maybe we should travel to like a number of islands. I'm gonna think about that. I think I think we might just relax. I think we might relax, we might travel around. I think as our tribe grows and we get rid of all of our siblings whenever a new tribe becomes, or new member becomes the matriarch or the patriarch, I think that's gonna be really important for uh, kind of leaving the island even <laughs> so that we have a little bit more space until we get to Cookie Island. But I think I do want to go on a journey before we settle on Cookie Island. And you usually make cookies in groups of a dozen. So maybe we'll say we need to go to one dozen islands, maybe gather up the traits that we pick up along the way, and then after one dozen islands, we can find Cookie Island. I don't know, that sounds like something I might do because you make a dozen cookies at a time usually. 
<laughs> and that's all the logic I need. But we're back. We're back. And now that I have laid out the rules, and now that I have a guideline, and now that apparently I literally have intervention from our nicheling gods, we will carry on next time diving straight into the complete adventure of it all. Remember, if you are always confused and wondering what the rules are, check out the link in the video description for our Google document. And if you are also wondering, but Siri, by the way, who's who? I'm going to leave a link to our still in development wiki and I'm hoping people will be willing to try to fill out the family line because I don't want to repeat myself like I used to in all of our nicheling episodes. So I look forward to sharing the adventure with you guys and I will see you next time. Bye bye.